Welcome, everybody. It is about time for baseball season, so that means one thing. MLB The Show franchise time. Now, obviously, you can see on the screen, this is MLB The Show 23. We'll have 24 here coming up shortly, but obviously just wanted to get out a few teams. Always like to get everybody's opinion. I'll do a poll down below of possible franchise teams for MLB The Show 24, which... Didn't get the early preview version. Just going to go with the regular version this year. So it'll be out on Tuesday and be able to get that. But first, just wanted to quickly go over some teams. We're going to go over four teams. Uh, like I said, a poll down below. What do you guys think? I have some uh, teams, you know, favorites. But first, we're going to go with the Chicago White Sox. That'll be possible team number one. Now, the Chicago White Sox last year finished 61 and 101. Obviously, this team definitely needs to be rebuilt. Now, they have a, a solid farm system. Now, if you looked at Keith Law on The Athletic, he ranks them at number 10 farm system. So they have some talent there. But this team had their worst year really since 1970. Your GM and executives have been totally gone. They're fired. And obviously, if we come in, we're going to be the exec, no doubt about it. But this Chicago White Sox team, which... You know, a few years ago had some promise, thought they were going to be, you know, possibly so much talent there, you know, going to be the top of this division, which in my opinion, this division, you know, Minnesota's pretty much up there, I think is obviously winnable. Cleveland is there, but you don't have fully dominant teams. I think if you can build this team up, it could be, you know, a powerhouse of this division, but that's the thing. You're going to have to build it up. They have some prospects here and there, but we're going to have to really get a lot of talent on this team and just kind of just totally revamp this entire system. So, you know, it's there. It's a chance. And I think, you know, there are some pieces possibly like you're seeing here that are there, but we're going to have to obviously Dylan Cease now gone, kind of redo the rotation. So this is a team kind of where you can kind of do whatever you want. You can roll however you like. Treats and be Luis Robert probably can get rid of him. So, you know, this is kind of like your total rebuild, I would say for sure, from the ground up, from scratch, and try to totally rebuild this Chicago White Sox team. And a, I would say, you know, it's still a tough AL. Team number two, we're going to go to the National League, the Colorado Rockies. Obviously, playing in one of the most offensive type fields and it doesn't work out usually for them. Last year the Rockies 59 and 103. That is five consecutive losing seasons for them. They had the worst ERA in the majors. Their offense you think, "Hey, okay, you have the worst ERA in the majors. You play in that field though. Your offense must be very good." Nope. Not very good. They do not have a very good offense either. This is kind of the same thing. Now where the White Sox had, you know, you could arguably say a top 10, uh, you know, farm system. The Rockies don't. They have more of your lower half tier farm system. Needs a lot of work, I would say. And you might be playing right now. I mean, obviously, the Dodgers rule the NL West. There's no doubt about it. And then they bring in the pieces they, they did. It's just going to be tough. You got to compete with that Dodgers team, which is absolutely ridiculous. So it's going to be a tough one for sure. I mean, I you know we'll pot, we'll see the other teams in this division here, but man, uh, it's just I mean this Rockies team needs I think a lot of work, and obviously how do you build around the stadium you're in? I think this is a really interesting choice too. This is another I think I would say total rebuild. You know you're not going to compete with the Dodgers, so you might as well just you know do everything you can to get as young and talented as you possibly. Can. So the Rockies are definitely an option. We're going to stay in that division for option number three, the San Francisco Giants. Now the Giants last year, 79 and 83. This is an interesting team too, because they definitely have some talent at the top. They got some pieces, some veteran guys, but that's the thing too, just like Colorado. Now Colorado, you know, you're not going to really be able to compete. The Giants want to be in a, a commission, a, a, position to compete but you're just not you're not competing with the Dodgers you're probably not even com really competing for an NL wild card I'm not sure you're going to be a little bit off there you know so I don't know what they're going to really do farm system wise same thing you're at the bottom half a little bit so 
you know, you're kind of in a weird in-between place with this team. You know, do you just go all out, try to compete, maybe get a wild card spot? You're, like I said, you're not competing for the division, not with the Dodgers at the top. But, hey, maybe you go after a wild card spot, try to make a little bit of noise. You get some free agents that come to your team here and there. You can make big splashes for sure. San Francisco is a great place to go. So this is an interesting one, too, that could be a possibility is this San Francisco Giants team. Now, as for the last one, we're sticking in the NL, and we're going to go over to New York. The New York Mets would be our last possible team here for a franchise. And this one is absolutely, obviously, one of the most interesting ones. This team spent nearly $400 million a few years ago getting Verlander, getting Scherzer, getting Lindor. I mean, they spent so much money. They thought, obviously, let's spend all this money. We're going to be a top-of-the-line team. We're going to make a World Series run. Nope, didn't happen. 75 and 87 last year. You know, your farm system's kind of middle of the road. And even in this division, you got the Atlanta Braves. Best team in baseball last year. Philadelphia Phillies. Perennial playoff team. World Series team. I don't know what you do. This is a tough one because with you know the pressure of New York, I think you got to go all out. You got to try to win. You got a few years. So this will be an in- this would be an interesting franchise. This isn't a rebuild. You want to go out and try to win, and that's what we'd have to do with the Mets team. So that would be definitely a little bit different than the couple others. So we got some options here for the four teams that I've gone with. But those are the four teams. Like I said, I'll put the poll down below. We're just making a quick video here to get a kind of idea of what um, everybody's kind of feeling right now. Like I said, White Sox, Rockies, I think there's a two totally rebuilds that we're usually used to doing. Where the Giants, I mean, the Mets, they're kind of similar. Do you, you, you want to win right now? Do you want to make some moves to go forward? Free agent signings, things like that. I think especially the Mets. When you're in New York, the pressure's there. The Yankees are making some moves. I know it's a different a- a- NL, but still, the pressure is there in New York. So it'd be really interesting to do. But let me know down below as well. I'll probably count those in as well. And I uh, cannot wait to get the show franchise going. So thank you so much for watching. Vote down below. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.